Welcome to Data Science Now, a podcast by Cluster, about the latest trends in data science with your host, Fabio Vasquez. On this episode, we'll talk about the best and most used books to study machine learning and artificial intelligence. Follow us on social media at Cluster Team. This is Data Science Now. Hello, everyone, and welcome to a new episode of Data Science Now. Um, I'm very happy to have all of you here. Um, and so it's been a while since uh, we were uh, doing episodes of Data Science Now. Uh, but um, luckily, you're having a good time in, uh, in your place. You're staying safe, staying home. Uh, we're still uh, in the place that we cannot go outside. So make sure to um, just stay home, have fun, study something new, and learn about data science. And that's the topic of today. We're going to be talking about the best books we have out there to study machine learning. Um, this session is going to be very similar in, in some uh, way to the number five. And in number five, we talked about the math of machine learning. And if you remember that particular newsletter, uh, you'll find different information on books for machine learning and statistics and all of that things. But I want to focus right now on the actual machine learning books. If you check the video and the, the episode number five, you'll see that I focus on, uh, on, on algebra, statistics, probability, and calculus. And you'll find all of that, um, the books for, for that in there, and also more free material to learn. Uh, and now what I want to do is to cover um, like a path for learning machine learning. And why do we need to talk about books? Because right now we have a lot of visual material. We have courses, we have boot camps, we have uh, like um, blogs, articles. Why do we still need books? And this is a very important question. If you check any important or serious um, article or development in the world of machine learning, you'll see a lot of books there. It's not common you'll find a course in the, uh, in the, in the um, references. This doesn't mean that courses are not important. And by the end of this, uh, this session, I'll try to convince you that a good combination of a good materials to read in books, articles, and blogs with a good understanding of the business combined with a formal education or a semi-formal ed education uh, can, can lead you and guide you to the way, uh, to the ways of machine learning, data science, and AI. So let me get started by remembering something from session number five. Um, in that session, I discussed that the, the pillars, like the, the most important thing before uh, trying to understand or read a book in machine learning was to understand three basic things. And that was probability and statistics. Uh, sometimes combined together, sometimes you, you have books for only probability, sometimes for only statistics. Um, I recommend that you understand them both. They are uh, very important. They're not the same thing. And I covered that in, the, in, in, the, in, in that session. Then about algebra. And you have a, a lot of free courses, books, and articles. And again, if you want to see all of them, go to session number five. Then the final part was calculus. And calculus is also very important because all of the optimization process we do in machine learning depends on derivatives, limits, and all of the theory of differential calculus. So you really need to understand all of that because you're, you're going to see that in the articles and the books all the time. So when you're happy with your understanding of algebra, statistics, probability, and calculus, then you can get started with the things I'm going to cover in this course. Uh, sorry, in this uh, session. Something important, some of these books already have a good introduction on algebra or calculus, um, and you'll see that they're not going to go directly into machine learning. Uh, some of them are going to go into other pieces of the world of machine learning uh, that they know they're important to understand the field, and then they'll go into the actual details. So I have a list of uh, more than 20 books in here, and uh, what I want to do right now is to talk about a little bit about them and uh, where, you, uh, where you can find them. Some of them are for free, some of them uh, are old books, uh, but 
all of them is a good combination I found uh, to really understand and study the world of machine learning. So let me get started with the first book. So um, the first book I want to cover is a book called An Introduction to Statistical Learning. And this is a very, very good book. Uh, it was created by, by Carol James, Daniela Whitten, Trevor Hasty, and Robert Tipsy Harney. This guy, Trevor Hasty, is also the main uh, uh, writer and author of the book Statistical Learning that we're going to cover next. But before you read the book I'm going to talk about in just a, a few minutes, read this one. Again, the, the name of the book is An Introduction to Statistical Learning. Why is this important? Uh, this is, I mean, this book is about machine learning, but the name is not machine learning. And, I mean, if you want to know why, uh, this uh, uh, is because um, this comes from uh, um, like a theory or like a more um, conservative theory of statistics um, that is more close to inferential statistics, magician statistics, um, that was the beginning of machine learning. So what will you see in this book? So you will, be, uh, you will uh, get started with, under, with a basic understanding on functions, regression, and you'll see the difference between unsupervised and um, supervised learning. You'll see the difference between regression and classification. By the way, the authors are Gareth James, Daniela Witten, Trevor Hasty, and Robert Tipsy Harney. The name of the book, An Introduction to Statistical Learning. By the way, don't worry if you don't get all of the names right now. Tomorrow, um, tomorrow in the newsletter, you'll get all of the names. Okay? So if you don't get all the names of the authors of the book, don't worry. Come to my profile tomorrow, and you'll find a newsletter with all of the... Uh, the names of the books, the articles, and if they're for free. Right now, this book is is there for free, so I'm gonna send. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna put there the link as well. So again, if you wanna uh, read the books and you wanna get them, wait to wait until tomorrow so uh, that I. Um, um, wait, give me a second here. Okay, and and then uh, please come to the newsletter and get them. So then the book will go to linear regression, classification, sampling methods, linear model selection, regularization, a, a very important topic in the world of machine learning. And then going beyond linearity, tree-based methods, support vector machines, uh, uh, and, and then unsupervised learning. This is an amazing book. It's a good introduction to the world of, of statistical learning that can be one of the names of machine learning. So really recommend it uh, as a first start in the world of machine learning after you read about algebra. Because uh, again, not all of these books that I'm going to recommend here have an introduction on algebra or calculus or statistics. So these are not mainly like introduction level books. So before reading them, make sure to go to the session number five in the newsletter and get the articles and books there. When you're happy with this book, when you, when, when, when you get the, the most important pieces of of these books, then my next recommendation is like the actual elements of statistical learning. Again, the name is Elements of Statistical Learning. The author is again Trevor Hasty, again Robert Tipshinari, and now Jerome Friedman. This is one of the books that you really have to read. So if you ask anyone, any researcher, AI developer, uh, data scientist that is serious about the world of, of, of research, they'll tell you that you need to read this book. Why? I mean, um, this book is very similar to the last one we covered, uh, but it's more advanced in the way that all of the methods and the terminology you'll see here is a, a little bit more advanced. So again, this book will start with an overview of, of, of supervised learning, then it will go to linear methods for regression, and there you'll see a lot of interesting things like the, the Gauss-Markov theorem, uh, multi, multiple regression, um, you'll get lasso, rich regression, all of these things that you really need to understand, they're here and very, very well explained. Then it'll, it'll go to linear methods for classification, 
discrimin analysis, regular uh, regularized discrimin analysis, then you go to basis of expansion and regularization. Again, regularization is a very important topic in the world of machine learning, so you better know about it. And this book is a very good uh, way of doing it. Uh, so th then you'll go to kernels smoothing methods, a very important topic. That was like the state of the art in the 80s and the 90s. The kernel uh, methods were very important back then. Now they're important, but not as important back then. But uh, they are. that's a very good reference to those type of models. Um, then you go to the world of model assessment. And if you really want to read one piece of this book, very, very good. Section 7.2. Bias, vari variance, and model complexity. That's an amazing introduction to the concept of what, what's bias, what's variance, and what is model complexity. Again, this is a very important topic. If you, are, if you really want to create better models, read chapter number seven in the world, in the, in the book of, of elements of statistical learning. Then you'll go to the model inference, um, three models, boosting and added trees. Neural networks are also here. Su support vector machines and k nearest neighbors. And in the end, you'll get an, a good introduction to un unsupervised learning with more than just clustering. You'll get association rules. You'll get self-organizing maps, principal component analysis. The, all of those topics that you really need to understand are there very, very well explained. Finally, you'll get to random forest ensemble learning, graphical models, and high dimensional problems. Um, you want to read this book, okay? So a, a good recommendation. I mean, I think everyone in the world of, of, of research has read this book one time, at least one time in, in their life. So make sure to go there, read it. And I think they also have some lectures about it. So um, I'm going to put them in the newsletter as well. So tomorrow, uh, find the links for that there. Let me go now to a very old book, but a very good one. This book is named Artificial Intelligence, a, a Modern Approach. And it was written by Stuart Russell and Peter Narbig. If you don't know Peter Narbig, he's the director of AI in Google, and he's been there for, I don't know, 20 years. Uh, so he's one of the creators of all the things we see right now. He has several books on the world of machine learning and AI. Um, in the beginning, he wrote them in Lisp, a very old programming language, but a very good one. But now that uh, some pieces of this book and other books he has are being translated into Python. So you can find that on GitHub. This is a very cool book. Uh, I have a question here. Where in my profile you can find my, the newsletter? So you go to my profile and see the articles. Okay. So when you go to articles, you'll see each one of the newsletter. Right now I have published nine. This is session number 10. So And this will be published tomorrow. So if for some reason you don't see me in your feed, Go to my profile tomorrow, I think maybe in the, uh, hopefully tomorrow, uh, in the, uh, I don't know, late night, maybe tomorrow. Go there and try to find uh, that article right there, and you, you, in, in the list of my articles, it's going to be in the top. Um, okay, so again, the, uh, we're covering the book Artificial Intelligence, A Modern Approach, and what I like about this book is that even though it's an old book, um, it's an amazing one because it covers a lot of the things like the the philosophy of AI. So if you really want to understand like where we're coming from in the world of AI and what's the difference between AI and machine learning, this is a very good book for that. Uh, chapter number five, machine learning, uh, has an amazing introduction to several um, different different learning methods. Uh, so there, um, I mean. This book is more about like the philosophy and the ethics and all of that things on, on AI, uh, but you'll get a lot of great information. Uh, I think chapter number two and number three are crucial. You want to read them. Number two is problem solving. If you're a scientist, you are solving problems all the time. So you need to learn this in a way. The best way I can recommend you how to learn on solving problems, go to go and get a formal education. Get your bachelor's degree in physics or mathematics or, uh, I don't know, do a bachelor in engineering, co computer science, um, 
economy maybe and then uh, if but, but if you don't have the, that possibility uh, these books and the things I've been talking about for a while now can uh, can I mean they will not replace the formal education uh, but they're gonna help you uh, in your process of learning so number two problem solving an amazing chapter and number three knowledge Reasoning and planning, an amazing chapter discovering uh, the understanding of first order logic, inference, knowledge representation. Um, the chapter uh, in, in chapter three, uh, the, the section number 10, that's an amazing section uh, in, in, in the way of how we represent knowledge. So again, we were talking about the book Artificial Intelligence, a Modern Approach by Stuart. Russell and Peter Narvik. Now I want to go uh, to a more modern article, uh, sorry, book. And this book is called Hands On Machine Learning with PsycheLearn, Kira's TensorFlow Concepts, Tools, and Techniques to Build Intelligent Systems. The author of this book is Ariane Aurelien, Aurelien Geron. So I don't, I'm sorry if I cannot pronounce your name your name correctly. It's like Ariel get on something like that. Uh, but with the name of the book Hands On Machine Learning, I, I think if you if you search that on Google, you'll find it right away. Uh, the the cover is like a lizard um, and it's from O'Reilly. This book is written for Python, so if you know, I mean, you need to know Python beforehand b before using this book. But I really like the book because. Um, it's a very uh, it's a very heavy book on different techniques and tools. So um, you get a definition of machine learning, how to use it, why to use it, what's data, um, like supervised learning. All of the things I I cover there are are, are here, but they are explained in 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 very simple language. So if you don't have like all of the mathematical tools in your hand, but you want to know about machine learning, this is one this is one this is one great book for you. Uh, I really recommend it. Um, so I'm not going to go into details because it's a very long book, but you have here a lot of different applications, and you also have the code on GitHub. So the author, uh, he created a whole section on Jupyter in, in, in his GitHub where you can find all of the, the, the article, uh, sorry, all of the code for Scikit-Learn, for Keras, for TensorFlow, uh, and with great examples. Um, now I want to go to what can be the most important book in the world of machine learning. And this is a very heavy statement I'm making right now. But I, I think aside the, the elements on statistical learning, the most important book that you really need to read. So if you are not reading any of these books, please read this one. <laughs> and this book is called Pattern Recognition and Machine Learning by Christopher M. Bishop. This is, I mean, again, this can be the best book we have out there for machine learning. You really need to read this book. And in here, what I like about the book is that even though it's heavy, long, and you have a lot of great and advanced material, you also get great introductions to probability, linear models, neural networks, kernel methods, sparse kernel methods, graphical models, uh, sampling methods. And the, the way he wrote this book is just incredible. It's just incredible. So um, again, if you're only reading one book in your life about machine learning, read Pattern um, Recognition and Machine Learning by Christopher M. Bishop. Um, I think this is the book used by the best schools out there. I know Stanford uses it. I know people like from uh, from MIT, Harvard, Dartmouth, um, people from uh, from uh, a lot of the tech schools we have out there, and people that are doing research are also reading this book. So. I want to be sure that you understand how important this book is for the world of machine learning and for you to read it. And it's there for free. I'm going to put the link uh, there tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to write the name again. I'm, I'm going to uh, repeat the name. is Pattern uh, Recognition and Machine Learning by Christopher M. Bishop. 
Again, if you don't get the names right now, tomorrow I'm going to be posting the newsletter with all of the names, the links, and everything. For If it's for free, I'm going to put the link for free. If not, I'm going to put maybe the Amazon link uh, so you can buy it. Um, again, um, this book has also another great thing is that a lot of people have implemented a lot of the code we have uh, like for this type of methods uh, that he's discussing here uh, or the examples are already coded in a lot of great GitHub repos. So if I found those, I'm going to find, I'm, I'm going to put them tomorrow as well in the, in the newsletter. Okay, so I'm going to go now to a different book. And this book is, it's, uh, the name of, the, of this book can be misleading in the way that it is, of course, about deep learning, okay? This is that book of, like, this is the deep learning book. But, but before that, uh, Ian Goodfellow, who, who is the, the creator of this book, uh, together with Joshua Bengio and Aaron Corville, um, chapter, uh, part number one, called Applied Math and Machine Learning Basics, it's an amazing part. If you really want to learn, like if you have, and, and I want to make sure you understand this, this book is not simple to read. So you really need to read it maybe twice to understand everything they're talking about here. And maybe you need to go back to uh, to your notation about algebra, calculus, and statistics, because this is a very heavy equation book. So again, I'm talking about if you want to, if, if you're new here in the, in the stream, Deep Learning um, by Ian Goodfellow and, and, and others. And again, part number one is awesome, is the Apply Math and Machine Learning Basics. It's just an amazing way of getting um, started with the world of algebra, probability, information theory, numerical computation, and, the cha and, and chapter number five, machine learning basics, is just awesome. You, you get there, like, the, the basic idea on the world of machine learning, a good definition. By the way, a lot of the definitions we have for machine learning was taken, it, it, they're taken from, from Bishop's book, okay? So if you want to know, like, where people are, co are, are coming with their, their um, definitions, a, a lot of them comes from the Bishop's book. And I think this deep learning book is very heavily based on Bishop's book. So um, you should read that one before this. But if you want just a quick introduction on the world of machine learning, this is it. And if, if you want to go uh, into detail about deep learning, this is a great book for that. And here in uh, part two and part three, you, ha you have all of it. You have uh, what's deep learning, neural networks, optimization, regularization, convolutional networks, applications. And then you have like the, their most advanced things like autoencoders, Monte Carlo methods, and all of that. And finally, you have, you have an introduction on the world of deep generative models. And, and this is because Ian Goodfellow is the creator of GANs. So if you want to have an idea um, of what a, a, a GAN is, please read this book before. Again, uh, people are asking where they can find the links or how to subscribe to my newsletter. Go to my profile here on LinkedIn, okay? And in there, go to my articles. There in my activities, go, go to my articles. And click on um, the, the latest article I published here on, uh, on LinkedIn was the, the session number nine on Data Science Now. And in there, you can subscribe subscribe to the newsletter so you get a, a notification when I publish a new one. You, uh, If you do that, you'll join more than 10,000 people that are already subscribed there. So I want to thank everyone there because 10,000 subscribers into a, to a, a, a newsletter is awesome. So thank you very much for that. Uh, so the newsletter is only right now on LinkedIn. Okay. Maybe I'll move it sometime to other place, but right now I can find it only on LinkedIn. All right, so let me go now to a new book uh, that is also a very good and important one. Um, this book is called Mathematics for Machine Learning. 
the uh, the creators of this book were Mark Peter Dinseroth, Aldo Fasal, and Chen Sun Ong. This is a book that is not that traditional in the way it explains things, but I really like it. Right now, I'm teaching a course in Dartmouth, and this is the book I'm using to teach it. So um, um, this book is a very important one, and this is the one that has a lot of the introductions you need for algebra, geometry, matrix decomposition, vector calculus, probability, optimization. So you have two, more than 200 pages on just introduce, uh, introducing the concepts of mathematics that are important to the world of machine learning. Then you go to machine learning, linear regression, dimensionality reduction, principal component analysis, density estimation, classification with vector support, uh, with support vector machines. Um, this book is not that complete, okay? So I want to make sure that you understand that it's not like a, the, it's not that book for machine learning, but it's an amazing one because it's a very simple one if you're getting started. Um, now I want to go to a book that is very important to me because when I st was studying my master's in physics, I had a class on machine learning, and the book I used for that was named Bayesian Reasoning uh, and Machine Learning. Again, Bayesian Reasoning and Machine Learning, and the author there, there is David Barber. David Barber uh, created this amazing book, and what I like about it is that it's very technical. So it has, it, it, it has all of the equations you need. So if you are happy by, um, reading equations, if you're happy reading like complex stuff, this is a great book for you. And um, it has a lot of great applications there like as examples. And you have a web page for the book with code in MATLAB, Julia, and Python. So I really like this book. It's very good, and it covers a lot of things, the things that are important right now, that is Bayesian and machine learning. And I'm going to go there in the last part of this session because it's a, a, a topic to, uh, to talk about in, in maybe in a, a future session. But right now, um, you can get that, uh, I, I think, a good introduction in this book. Now, um, I want to go to a different book. This book is called Probability and Statistics. And uh, it, the authors are Michael J. Evans and Jeffrey Rosenthal. Uh, I covered this book in the session number five, but I really like it. Even though it's not about machine learning, this is a book about statistics and probability. It has a lot of great stuff about uh, expectation, sampling distribution, in, in inference, and chapter number seven, Bayesian inference, is a very, very, very good introduction to the world of Bayesian inference. Then you have um, in the the last part of the book, chapter number eleven, is about stochastic processes, and there you have mark on, mark of chains, mark of chain Monte Carlo. And all of these things are some, uh, I mean, are sometimes data scientists don't care about. Uh, and I've met a lot of people like that, that they think that with linear regression, the decision trees, you're, you're happy with it. And that's it. No. I mean, the, you have no idea how useful the world of Markov change in Monte Carlo and all of these but, Bayesian methods are doing, and if you go there and see articles, you'll see that a lot of people in the world, in Google, Spotify, Netflix, um, Apple, Facebook, they're all using Bayesian methods. So don't take your eyes out of the world of Bayesian, um, Bayesian statistics because it's a very important piece of the world of machine learning. And going there, uh, there is a great book. Let me go there right now. Uh, where is that? Okay, here it is. So the, um, the book is called Probability, Pro, uh, sorry, Probabilistic Programming and Bayesian Methods for Hawkers. Uh, the author is Cameron Davison Pilon. And he has, a, this book was created like a Jupyter notebook. And then I, I think right now, and I'm seeing his webpage right now, he says that he has a printed version right now available on Amazon. 
So um, I'm going to put the link there tomorrow. Um, the last books, uh, I some people are asking me to repeat the names. So the last one I, I talked about before this one uh, was Probability and Statistics by Michael J. Evans and Jeffrey Rosenthal. And right now I'm covering the book called Probabilistic Programming and Bayesian Methods for Hackers. The author there is Cameron Davison Pilon. This, again, I'm, I'm moving the conversation a lot into Bayesian and reasoning because it's huge. And I think not that well taught in courses. I mean, if you're doing courses in Coursera or EDX or Pluralsight or Datacamp, there are not that many courses or uh, chapters on the world of Bayesian methods. And it's a very important topic uh, if you want, I mean, when you're dealing with scenarios of high Um, um, when when you're when you're dealing with, with probabilities and stuff like that, a lot of the important things are coming from Bayesian methods. And in here, you you read uh, uh, um, you learn it with a library called PyMC, a very good library to build uh, Bayesian methods in Python. And you also have some stuff about Markov Chain Monte Carlo with Python as well. So if you want to get like a practical introduction to the world of Bayesian reasoning, uh, with Python, is, uh, this is the book for you. Um, so I don't have that much time to cover in detail uh, that many more books, but I want to cover two more. And one is an old, old, old book, all right? And this book is called Pattern Classification. Uh, this book is old, okay? It's from this, from the seventies, but it's one of the, uh, for me, I think is one of the the first books we have on something similar to the world of machine learning. Again, the book is called Pattern Classification by Richard Duda, Peter Hart, and David Stork. Uh, this book is about machine perception, pattern recognition, and it's a lot of the things you're going to see here are in the world of Bayesian decision theory, and, the, and, and you also have a good introduction of non-parametric techniques, and a lot of the people are not covering this in any of their courses, or you don't see that maybe in your school, but non-parametric techniques are also very important in the world of data science. Then you have linear functions, neural networks, stochastic methods, Um, and you have algorithms machine, uh, for machine learning, unsupervised learning, and you, you have a very good um, appendix called Mathematical Foundations, where you have a good introduction to linear algebra, probability, some calculus, and, and, and statistics. So again, this book is called uh, Pattern Classification by Richard Duda. Peter Hart and David Stork. This is an old, an old book, okay? A very old book from the 70s, but it's also a, a good thing you, you know what was the state of the art back then, all right? Um, so I'm going to mention some books right now because I don't have the time to talk about them. One is called Programming Collective Intelligence by Toby Seagorn. This book is from 2007, And it's an amazing book. Uh, it covers a lot of the things we're using right now, but more than 10 years ago. And it's, it was written in Python. So that's an awesome uh, place to get started with some Python. I mean, the code is outdated. The code is not new. Again, it has more than 10 years, but the concepts are still the same. And they're very well explained in that book. Again, Programming Collective Intelligence by Toby Seagrant. Um Then I want to talk about a book that is, is also very important to me, and it's called Mining of Massive Data Sets. The authors there are um, Jules Leskovec, Arnold uh, Rachmarin, and Jeff Ullman. I discovered this book because I did um, a course back in 2013, I, I, I think, in Coursera, that had the same name, Mining Massive Data Sets. And I know I worked all of the examples in that book in Scala because back then, more than 
than seven years ago, I thought that the world of data science was going to move into Scala, not into Python. So I was learning heavily Scala back then. And if you go to my GitHub, you'll find like very, very old repos on um, implementations of, of algorithms in this book in Scala. Uh, that I created when I was studying. Um, so this is a very cool book, and it has a lot of great material. It's th very theoretical. It's, it's, it can be called a board book, but I tell you, it's a very important book. So if, if you read it with care, you'll find a lot of great resources for the theoretical and, and also how to apply all of this knowledge into the world of machine learning. Again, name of the book was Mining of Massive Datasets, and the authors were Jur Lescobeck, Arnold Rajamaran, and Jeff Ullman. Uh, before finishing, uh, I want to talk about uh, more books. Big Data MBA by Bill Marso. Bill um, is a very active member of, of LinkedIn, so hopefully he's seeing this or he will see this later. Uh, Bill Marso, uh, this is a, an amazing book of, of big data, but it, it has good content on data science. And I think uh, the name Big Data MBA is very good because the idea here, and uh, this is what he says, the idea is driving business strategies with data science. Uh, so you'll, it's not like a heavy... Uh, mathematic book, but it's a good one if you want to understand more about the business section of how to apply machine learning and AI. So I really like that book. It's a very good one. Um, finally, I cannot leave this out of the list. The 100-page machine learning book by Andre Burkov, a good friend of mine here on LinkedIn. Uh, he's a, is also a very active member of the community. You may see his post all the time. He's writing a new book right now, but right now he's been uh, he published the 100-page machine learning book. Again, an amazing book, very short, to the point, uh, precise and consist. So... Um, if you want to get a very basic introduction on some topics of machine learning, this is the book you, you're going to go there. Uh, uh, um, last and, oh, of course, Machine Learning by Tom Mitchell. I was going to talk about that one yet. Uh, that is in the level of Christopher M. Bishop book. The, the, thank you, Boris, for uh, uh, reminding me here. The book is called Machine Learning by Tom Mitchell. Uh, again, it's, it's in a very high level, not a very basic book to read. Um, uh, but uh, if you have, I mean, my preference is Bishop. There are some people that prefer Mitchell's book, but this is also a very good book. Again, Machine Learning by Tom Mitchell. Um, I'm going to uh, put the link to that there uh, tomorrow as well. Uh, finally, the last books I want to cover are three books by the great and one and only John Tukey. Uh, John Tukey, if you don't know him, uh, he's one of the um, pioneers on the world of data science. Uh, he wrote the article, The Future of Data Analysis, that for me started the, the revolution of data science. And, but he has two great books. One is called Exploratory Data Analysis, and the other one is called Data Analysis and Regression, a second course in statistics. So uh, the author here is John Tukey. I'm going to put uh, um, uh, the links there tomorrow because these books are for free. Um, and they're very good. I mean, they're old books from the 70s again, but great books if for, um, with good theory. Uh, there are more books here that I, will, I won't have the time to cover um, in this session because we've been here for 40 minutes. Um, but tomorrow, again, find the links for all of this in the newsletter. Again, how to subscribe to my, to my newsletter? Go to my profile, go to my articles, click any article there that has the name episode. And in there, you'll find that that is the newsletter for that specific episode. You'll find the Spotify link for the podcast. You'll find the video, the YouTube video. This is being recorded right now. Okay. So if you want to share it with, share it with your friends, with your company, with your family, your, I don't know, whatever. So uh, um, you have the link to the video there. And also you have all a good, um, like a basic description of what I said. And all of the links, you'll find all of the links uh, that I covered today um, in that newsletter. As a final thought, 
Reading books is huge when you're learning a new field. And is not being done as much as it has to be done in the world of data science and machine learning. You will not be an expert in machine learning if you're only there reading blogs, reading simple articles, or watching videos on YouTube, or uh, doing online courses. Don't get me wrong, that's important as well. And I'm going to launch courses on my own. But you need more than that. You need to read like the very, uh, like a, a good investigation by a great author. And I think the two most important books or the three most important books of all the things I said here are Elements of Statistical Learning, Pattern, um, um, Pattern what, Recognition and Machine Learning by Christopher M. Bishop. And for me, a very good book, if you want to understand all of this, um, is also uh, this book uh, called uh, Bayesian Reasoning and Machine Learning by D David Barber. So those three books are, are huge, important, and you need to read them. If you combine a good reading of these books good, uh, with projects, if you are building projects and you are doing courses online and you're reading articles and you're reading blogs and you're watching YouTube videos, then yes, you will become an expert here. Not in one month, not in six months, not in one or two years. This will take time and you need to internalize that. You will not be an expert in anything in less than, I don't know, five, six years, seven years, I don't know. So it's going to take time for you to read all of this, to learn all of this, but you can do things while, while you're learning. You can do things while you're lear reading all these books, okay? So um, I have here, uh, thank you, Lorenzo. He has here a lot of great um, resources as links. I'm going to put that as well in the, in, in the newsletter, Thank you very much, Dad. So if you want to get some of the, the books right now, uh, go to Lorenzo's um, comment. And he has there, uh, uh, um, I think, like 11 links. So tomorrow you'll get more than 25 links. Um, so make sure to subscribe to the newsletter and uh, watch the video with your friends. And, and your family and your company. Again, so thank you very much for being here right now. I want to thank my, my great team, Gabriel, Eileen, Hazel, and the Cluster team. Again, we're going to be uh, continuing to create content for you. We're going to launch courses very, very soon in Spanish and maybe by the end of the year in English. Uh, so uh, make sure to uh, follow us on, on social media at Cluster Team on Twitter and on Instagram and here on LinkedIn as uh, just only as Cluster. Um, thank you very much again for being here and hopefully I'll see you next week in a new episode of Data Science Now. Take care and see you soon.